Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the Cold for the Fire Show. Welcome to Tuesday, the 8th. Got breaking, not really, I guess, breaking news per se, but the got breaking news. You guys don't know. I live in San Diego, California. I live in San Diego. We have, you know, we're trying to get sports here. Is a given, not a given. We got breaking news. You guys are some most of the fan. We got breaking news that the Oakland Raiders, just the Oakland Raiders, you guys know the Oakland Raiders, they're moving to Vegas. I think it's a 2020. And the city hates them. The city's like, we don't we don't want you here next year, 2019. So, you're going to be homeless or you're going to go somewhere else. Right? The big talks with San Diego, the Vice Stadium in Santa Clara, or San Jose, wherever it is. Or... AT&T Park, well, breaking news, people. I don't think AT&T Park might not be an option anymore. I don't think Lever is an option anymore because they have bad relationships with the Oakland Raiders. I guess, you know, the Oakland, uh, the point is that bad relationship with the Oakland Raiders, so they don't want to, you know, I guess some parts of the 49ers own or do stuff to AT&T Park, so that's, that's a bad option. And so the California Cal Bears used to play there when they're getting the stadium done. Well, that's that, but it's the Raiders. And then now London, a couple, couple, was it a couple weeks ago or something, a month ago or something, then London, England was a talk, but that's going to be hard because that's going to be a lot of, that's gonna be a lot of traveling for teams trying to play them every Sunday at home to go to, I think it's, I think it's supposed to be, I don't think it's Wembley Sam, I think it's where the, um, Hots, Tottenham Hotspur is Hot Spurs play where they're gonna help out the Raiders. That's where they're gonna play. I don't know what the stadium's called, but no, it's not Wembley. Um, but now, hold on, I'm scrolling, scrolling through my Facebook, right? And I saw this three hours ago in the Bay Area, whatever. You know, the Bay Area, right, NBC Bay Area, whatever, reported this, reported this, you can find it. Reports Raiders talking to San Diego about playing there. So right here, and all the other news outlets, what are called, NBC... Uh, Pro Football Talk on NBC was talking about it that they were in talks with our mayor Faulkner and the people of the office as well, not just Mayor Faulkner, but the mayor's office about, you know, hey, can they play here for one season, one year? And then I saw this and they're talking about the Chargers will never play here. When the Raiders play here, they do, will never play here because they, they said the Chargers play here in San Diego, it's bad, the NFL doesn't want it. They said the Chargers play the Raiders will play in Mexico. <coughs> Excuse me, Mexico City or London, England. So they will never play here because it's a bad rap because I'm a city, and they don't want to do that. Bring an old team back to their old home. But I'm assuming they're gonna take the old part of the city that's been abandoned for a long time since the Chargers left, and put that, make that their practice facility for one year. I think if not. They're doing the practice field where the San Diego Fleet actually had their minicamp on. It's right there in the stadium, SCCU Stadium. It's their practice facility. I guess they have like youth kids soccer practice. They had some rugby games on the little practice practice field there. So my point is, speaking of, that's a lot of football for San Diego. We have three outdoor teams. Now there'll be three outdoor teams and one indoor team. Because um, I know a lot of American football new spring football league was announced. Last year, and we're one of the we're one of the cities who got a got the team. I'm going to the home opener as a birthday gift for me. I'm a birthday February second, but I'm got the home opener is February seventeenth. So my dad hooked me up with tickets. Me and him ready to go to the game. San Diego Fleet is the new Latin American Spring Football Outdoors. They're gonna put the same stadium if the Raiders come here. Same stadium with the Chargers to play. It's called SDCC San Diego San Diego County Cal Coast Credit Union Union. Stadium it used to be called Qualcomm Stadium, Jack Murray Field, whatever. Um, 
Now that's what it's called. SDCC Stadium. And also, as that, as we got the fleet, later on, we have an indoor arena. The football team, we used to have an indoor arena football here called the San Diego Riptide, San Diego Shockwave. Both playing the arena football league and arena football league 2. Then, then the in, arena fo and then those teams folded. We used to have a, wo the women's one, the Le Legends football league, or the, what's it called, the Laundry football, football league, but now it's called the Legends football league. We used to have that team, but now, indoor football, the indoor football league, the one that's better than arena to me. Arena is a big top guy, but the indoor one has 10 teams. And with the 10th team, the San Diego Strike Force new arena football football team gonna play in San Diego. So arena football is back in San Diego. They're gonna play at the the arena which is be called Valley View Casino Center, San Diego Sports Arena, with the Clippers played and the Rockets played. Now it's called Pachanga Arena, San Diego. I think. I think. I don't know some of that. They play there. Then later on, after they announced that, a new football league, a spring football league, has started by Ricky Williams, Troy Owens, all these old, Jeff Garcia, all these old retired NFL legend stars. So a new football league called the Freedom Football League. They already have their, I think it's, what, 10 teams? Eight teams or 10 teams. And we've got a war to them. Our team is called the San Diego Warriors. No update on what, what their uniforms are like. But we're going to play. I'm supposed to be at this day. I'm not at University of San Diego, maybe. Where San Diego Legions play, and Legions is, is the uh, Major League Rugby team here we have in San Diego to take over our void of no football, but now we have football back. It's going to like you now help us that we have football back now. But the fleet, you know, is the team. So I'll be watching some games of the fleet and also be on TV. But yeah, they announced it on uh, ESPN, Cheddar, all these different all these different sites about the new Freedom Football League. This is called the FFL, the Freedom Football League. And um, we're one of the teams. Oakland got a team. So the Raiders are leaving now. They got a football team called the Oakland Panthers. We got a team. Oklahoma got a team. Finally, Oklahoma gets some of a professional football team. Something called the Oklahoma City Power or something like that. But we got a team called the San Diego Warriors. We got two other teams. San Diego, actually, I guess four. Because we had the San Diego Fleet. Well, that's make a football team. San Diego Warriors, Freedom Football League team, we have San Diego State University, college football, and then the Raiders come here for one year. San Diego Raiders are the key of Oakland, I'll just call it Las Vegas, but in San Diego, Las Vegas, San Diego Raiders, whatever you want to call it. There, so it'll be like four outdoor teams, but I don't know when. We did not get awarded XFL team, no XFL here in San Diego, but I don't know when the FFL is going to start. Just you can sign up online, and you can be, you can actually be. I think this league is going to be a flop, to be honest. It's cool what they did, yeah. We can set up online to be a part, to be like an owner, basically, of the freaking team. I think this league is about the fans, not the team. There's no, it's already made the team names. Like, when the league, when they just announced, it was, really when the Anthony's been there, they had the team names. That quickly, right? And, you know, so you go on there, Freedom Football League website says, Sign up, you can be part of the team, you can be an owner, or so you can like basically own the team for some odd reason. I don't know what that means. See, here's another report Raiders talk, Raiders report you talk and talk by the mayor. Maybe it's probably made that, or maybe put it upside down. But you yeah, know. This is Raiders reportedly in talks with San Diego Mayor Office about potentially playing home games at SCC Stadium next season. But I actually signed up for the Freedom Football League. That'd be cool if you guys can supposedly own, but they have to have management something backed up for it. So I got them an email, right? Got them email. Freedom Football League form submission. See? Freedom Football League form submission right here. And it says, Hi Colt, we received your submission and thanks. Look at, read this. Receive your submission and thank you for your interest in team ownership with the Freedom Football League. So it's like they're doing fans first, like the fans can be the owners of the
those teams. What are they gonna What are they gonna do? Like we're gonna run the front office, or I don't know how it's gonna work. How we're gonna get the pool of players that are not in the NFL, or the CFL, or whatever. How we're gonna take all of them, and how we're gonna scout, and we're gonna be at the coaches and everything. I don't know how this is gonna work. But team ownership with the Free Football League, we're working hard to develop and, and execute plans to make this unique experience for fans like you. The SEC rules dedicate that. Accurate investors are handled in specific ways. If you are an investor, please reply to this email with a yes, I am a, I'm not an investor or nothing. And our team will be in touch with you shortly. Otherwise, stay tuned. Otherwise, stay tuned on our social media and, we will, and you will see regular ownership updates. So, basically, if you have some kind of investors, which I don't have nothing, I work at restaurants, okay? What do you, nothing about investing. Thank you for your support and we're excited to see the future of the Freedom Football League. Sincerely, Ricky, Ricky Williams, and the Freedom Football League leadership team. But, you can fill it out, but I'm not going to get like hired or anything, but it'd be cool. They're more worried about the fans, I guess. Fans first. You know, I guess that's cool. But anyways, just let me know the conversation down below if you guys, I know there's a big Raider presence. Here in San Diego, but rumor is that if the Chargers come to town, don't play here. Play London or Mexico City or somewhere out of San Diego, I guess. So we have a lot of football coming into town. That stands going to be used. I know it's supposed to be shut down soon because we just passed the bill. Or if you guys saw in the voting, that San Diego State West plan beat Soccer City plan. So they're going to build a new stadium sometime soon here. So that stands going to be used quite a lot. Raiders, Fleet, Warriors, and San Diego State football. If not, they'll move to Petco Park for a little bit. The Fleet, Warriors, and San Diego State. Or play San Diego University for the Fleet, whatever have you. And thank you for watching. Thanks for leaving. Guys, I'm going to go to the back because I got work tomorrow. I work at 8 a.m. to do so. Six hour shift, about six hour, five, five hour and a half shift. Whatever, with the break, so I'm going to bed. So thank you guys for watching. Like this video, guys, subscribe for more. And let me just comment what you think about the Raiders. Maybe coming here. But I'm reading this. I don't know if it's official yet, but it's big talk. Let me know. San Diego Super Raiders. What do you guys think about that? And will, will they take over the abandoned part of the facility? Redo that up. Cause there's a video on YouTube of the old Chargers facility. Let me see. Some people just roaming around these it's these two guys roaming around the old charger facility here in San Diego. They try to go inside it was abandoned. They couldn't go inside. I don't think the fleet are gonna use that. They do. Cool the warriors use it, cool if not. They, they do the practice facility the practice facility. I guess what they call these have little little like small concerts there and whatnot right here. The practices here, SSU practices there, Qualcomm practice facility. That's where they had. That's where they had their. Uh, that's where they had their uh, San Diego Fleet mini camp. So, the fleet might practice there. I don't know, but let's see. It was four months ago. Right here, you go to it's called uh, something. Who's the spy? And so, yeah, I'll show you guys I gotta end up something or other or other. The something or other tour, that's what their name is called. And they went abandoned saying the Chargers headquarters, Pratt Facility headquarters, right here. Go check out that video.
Oh yeah, I don't see the same one as this one. Here's another one, you just look it up. It's by Trevor Costello about the band in practice facilities. Go check out all the videos, let me know what you guys think, you know. I don't know if whatever team's gonna come here, if it's the Warriors or the Fleet. The Fleet's already here, but they haven't nowhere to practice besides the practice facility there. So I know they're gonna take that. If they do, cool. If not, maybe San Diego State will take it. Maybe the Warriors, the Warriors or the Chargers, maybe the Raiders, and they play one season, they might take it. I don't know. But someone's gonna take that, or if not, they're supposed to make it for the homeless people, so we'll see. But I'm saying that's for more tonight, so we can come subscribe for more. Let me know what you think. San Diego Raiders, San Diego Super Raiders? Do you like it? Do you don't like it? Let me know. Is he gonna get some? Is he gonna get it? Obviously, it's gonna be a big fan base. And obviously, it's gonna be used. Cause the fleet play in the spring, the Warriors play in the spring, and then the, then the Raiders will play for once, one season, one year. During not spring, so they'll play in training camp while the while the while the, while the Warriors play in the in the um Warriors and the fleet play. They'll play about to start the training camp after the Warriors fleet season's over and they'll be sending a state playing there and also the Char Raiders so we'll see that's just a little talk I heard earlier three hours ago uh, NBC's whatever you call it South Bay Bay Area sorry reported on that and other other news sites report on that so I guess we're watching SBS Nation report on it so I guess we're watching that to be leaving because for more Hold on. And let me know what you guys think about the Raiders coming to San Diego. Good night, y'all, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.